<laughs> it's been a long time since we've done this. It's been a really long time yeah. since we've done this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to start it up? Yeah, you need to start. <laughs> we always have a goofy thing before the intro music. Yeah, later. but this is too goofy. <laughs> Hey everybody, you're watching the Mud Guy RC. I'm the Mud Guy. I'm the bear. And today we have bench time uh, with the bear for you. It's, I know it's been a long time, it's been but a really long time. Bear and I are still married. <laughs> hey. I don't know if everybody was thinking that because she was off for a while that she wasn't around anymore, but now we just we just haven't done a bench time with the bear for a while because we haven't had our bench. So we got a little makeshift makeshift set up here now. Uh, and uh, I don't know, is it working? <laughs> you let me know. I don't know if I got the lighting right yet. It, so it's been since about May. May, since our last bench so time. So welcome all new viewers and subscribers. Yeah, I'm welcome. Bear. Welcome on board. This is the bear. And I'm his wife. Bear, what is bench time with the bear all about? What I'm is his it? wife. And she, she's, uh, are, are you an RC addict like me? I am not an RC addict. <laughs> I bear. am a... Bear is a balance. Well, I don't know. Am I a carpet bagger? <laughs> a carpet am I am I riding on your coattails? No. Am I am I am I the I'm the woman behind the man. The woman behind the man. Bear That's Bear right. Bear is my balance because if Bear wasn't here, I wouldn't wear clothes. I would just have lots of RC cars. So uh... <laughs> sneakers falling apart. No food on the table. No food so on the table. So Bear That's Bear acts Bear acts as a balance. Uh, and she did have an RC. I'm kind of sad we sold it. Uh, but yeah, but we, we I, I don't know. Bear, Bear and I are talking about maybe getting Bear another RC. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's get into the show. So what, what are we talking about today? Well, you guys just went on a trail run. We did. We went on a trail run and uh, we had a, I, I got to go out with another grown up. It was a lot of fun. There's a, well, you've already met Spike, right? Spike, yes. So, so anyway. Uh, it's the Spike's family. We have another family on the block. Yes, yes. Not neighbor kid. It's another family lives on the block that has, has just gotten into RC. They're totally into uh, trails and, you know, uh, four-wheel drive, that kind of stuff. And uh, he, uh, he, he we, we told him we, he needed a nickname and he picked Trag. So... <laughs> I don't know if Trag's gonna stick. I mean, well, just, well, we'll have to figure out to, yeah, to have him explain tra why that's his name. Trag, we, we go, we're a little bit more. It's a cool name. I think it's his warrior. I, like it. I think it's his warrior name. It sounds it's like a very warrior war name. <laughs> Trag. Uh, but to paint his face blue. It sounds like one of Sarah like Palin's a Scottish, kids. Like a Scottish. Trag, yeah. Oh, well, now Maybe let's like not the, go there. The RC warrior. But uh, I think the we're RC gonna warrior. give him a new nickname because if no, I would give him. Oh, I like that name. If I would give him a nickname, it would be like Professor Crawler. So carry, carrying a spare on an RC car, that's not just for show, right? No, no, of course. Now, I'm, I mean, I'm a little off. <laughs> yeah. My tires are going to be a little weird, but... You're, you're still I, on the road. I'm still, I can you're, still make it home. You're still on the road. That is, as long as we didn't burn up the motor. Nope. So anyway, but anyway, right now he's like Trag. Trag. So what, uh, Trag, Trag is, is Spike's dad. He also has another kid that came out with us, uh, Darth Vader. His big sister. Yeah, it's 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 Spike's big sister. Spike did not go out, but anyway, we had a great time. Well, who uh, else was there? Well, we, we had the kids out. We had we had Monkey and Scooch, and it was it was me, and we had our uh, a new cameraman, Code Man. He's another kid that lives oh, on the block that's isn't in the that video. Wonderful, he's just into the video part of it. Yeah, and he took the opportunity. Well, he he actually said that he liked RC, and he thought that would be fun to have one. But I I actually want to keep him on board as my cameraman. It was so nice. To have a guy uh, shoot video, and I, I I didn't have to worry so much about getting all the neat little and shots. And he got some really good shots. He too. did. He did. He got like ninety some shots, and I had my camera on. Uh, well, we had the camcorder for interviews and stuff, but I mostly used my GoPro that was attached to my remote. Uh, and, so, what was the goals of this trail run? Well, anyway, anyway, Trag is a veteran of oh, the G six. I apologize. So what? I, I was moving on and you weren't done yet. I'm sorry. The goals of what? what, what? The goals of your trail run. No, that's what I was saying. And it, I have, I'm leading into that. Trag, oh. Trag is a veteran of, of the G6, so he learned all about recovery. Oh. And that was neat because he was starting to introduce us. And uh, I mean, I've seen it what before. What is recovery? Well, recovery is basically when your RC gets into trouble, you either winch yourself out or uh, somebody else comes along and helps you with a toe strap or a winch. Remember what I was saying about throttle control, right? Slow. I'm going to back up slow. You're going to go forward slow. Slow. That was beautiful. Basically, you're not going to use, the, it's called the hand of God, where you pick your RC up and readjust it. We're trying to get through our obstacles <coughs> on the trail with uh, well, just in instruments. No, I'm not set up for it, but he was. 
Ooh. He was. He had a winch. He had some toe straps. And we are going to do some toe straps. Some but tiny little toe straps. I thought the kids wouldn't be into it, and they loved it. They loved it. Every time they flipped, they're like, come help me. But, you know, and, and that's kind of <laughs> what I've been pushing upon them since we started RC. The kids always want to pick their RCs up and put it in the right direction or, you know, and like we're going on a jump and they put it right in front of the jump. I said, use your remote. The whole concept of RC is remote control. It's not, you know, manual control. You let your car go and try to drive it out of trouble or, you know, set yourself up. And uh, Monkey really caught on to it. I, at, the, at the end of the day, he was really excited. And I think he thought that was kind of cool to work with another well, RC. It is kind of cool. It is. It's neat. And uh, Trag was he was he was interested in that. I think in the end we uh, we kind of gave up on it. We were running out of juice. We we ran out of batteries. We were um, out really long. Yeah, yeah. We went we went on a mile loop. Well, we started. I started out as a mile loop. It was a mile and a half. And uh, and I think we, we we left the loop to go on the regular part of the trail, which was funny, because we started going to the regular part of the trail thinking, hey. We still got to turn back and finish the loop. So I'd say we were probably at two and a half miles when it was all said and done. Uh, my car went the distance. This is my new SEX 10. We'll talk about that in a second. My, <laughs> my car went the distance. Uh, this is my Vanna White moment. Monkey monkey ran out of juice, but Trag had an extra pack and uh, the scooch, the poison scooch. Here we have, we have the amazing Peg Pig here. Oh no, what happened? This is the amazing Peg Pig. Uh oh, are you fighting with your brother? Uh-huh. So <laughs> what happened to your head? So uh so yeah, yeah, yeah. And the uh the poison scooch went the distance. He had a uh four a four thousand milliamp pack and he uh he made it. He made it all the way through. I'm I'm suspecting that if we would have went much further, he would have died out too. Well that's a uh, long but that it like, is. Was it, that it, what you expected to happen? Well the thing is it's 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 a difference in, in how, how how heavy our cars were and, and the poison scooch is still pretty light. And uh, oh. how you you know your driving style, what kind of tires you have. Monkey's tires are softer. It's it's a crawler compound with really soft foam in there, so he's not he's not efficient on trails, and his car is a lot heavier. So that's why I, I wasn't surprised because well, and he only has a thirty three hundred pack. So we had an extra battery pack from from Trag, and then he ran out of juice and we took his extra pack, so he had to carry his RC. But uh, thank the th you. The three of us made it out, and him and his I and his kid they. Uh, yeah. They they had to uh, they had to pack their cars out, but it was a great run. We had a great time, and uh, I hope to do more of that. I mean, it was it was wet and slippery and muddy, but it was still well, a lot of fun. <laughs> didn't the water? How does the water affect the electronics on these? Well, cars? I don't know because here here here's the thing that I realized. I I, I think there's a big uh, push for waterproofing on these RCs because people like to drive them through the creeks and through puddles and go mudding and do stuff like that in the snow, and. I noticed yesterday, I mean, we, I, I wish we had video of it, we didn't. Uh, Scooch drove his poison spider straight, uh, poison Scooch. You always turn off the video camera. I know, well, I was too busy, I was too busy yelling at him because <laughs> he's sitting there with the trigger, holding the trigger, you know, full throttle, looking up at the other cars while his car just keeps driving out into the lake. <laughs> and I turn around, I see this little blue shimmer at the bottom of the lake driving deeper and deeper. Oh no, how'd you get it? I had to go in, I had to, I had to go in to get it. And, uh, <laughs> and, 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 and once we got it, it drove the rest of the way. So I think the big thing how, with how how long did he drive after he submerged? Him? The whole way. He made it out. He, he made it you out. Mean it, that was at the beginning of the run. Well, in the middle somewhere. We were taking little uh, fishing trails and, and doing some crawling on the beach and stuff like that. Uh, monkeys. I, I did. I, I did make an attempt at waterproofing it, and his did pretty good. Uh, of course, his tires are soaking wet, so we're gonna have to find a way to air them out. And, uh, oh. you know, I have closed cell phones in here, but I didn't want to get this thing to it because it's it's set up a little bit different. Uh, but I think one of the big things with waterproofing is you prevent corrosion in the future, which is going to destroy your electronics. So I'm going to have to check these things out. I mean, basically, my next week, I think, is going to be spent taking apart the crawlers and making sure nothing's, nothing's rusting. She's are, trying to whistle. Are you a little ham? So <laughs> anyway... So let's talk a little bit about my my new SEX10 here. This this is it. This is what I came up with, and uh, I, I wasn't keeping it top secret on purpose. It's just I really had to get this thing done. I knew we were going to meet up with with Trag, and I had a limited amount of time to get this thing done. I, I originally did start taking pictures of the build, and uh, as time progressed, I just kept going and going and going. I didn't shoot any video, but we will go into detail. I don't. It's it's filthy right now. I'll try to get some some more pictures of it. Looks like you rolled it, honey. I did everything with this. I mean, I jumped it, rolled it, bashed it. Uh, it. It worked perfectly for me and everything that I wanted to do. And I actually set it up more 
for bashing because I, I don't know and you guys can feel free to share your comments on how you set up your ESCs but I kind of set this up with push, push control. I, I eased off the uh, the drag brakes a little bit because I knew we weren't going to do a ton of crawling. We were going to do mostly, it was mostly about endurance, mostly about just driving, you know, getting getting some mileage in on the RCs. And uh, this thing just handled perfectly. It was great. But yeah, that's one of my next goals is to uh, add some toe straps in. I'm going to, I guess if I'm going to do recovery now, I need a bumper. And... Uh, <laughs> If and you're going to do recovery, you're going to need a winch? Uh, uh, not necessarily a winch right away, but I'd at least like to have a toe strap, and I'd like Can to I have some... Can I be a some... girl for a moment? Sure. Is a winch one of those little round things that's like a spool? A spool, yes. Okay. And, and it's if you ever see, they're, they're, sometimes they're on the front bumper. Well, most of the time they're on the front bumper. Sometimes they can be on the back, and it's what they pull your car out of the muck with, you know what I mean? But Well, how do you keep your car steady while he's pulling another car? Well, you got it. That's part of it. That's part of recovery. You have to be do in a like good put, position. Do you put like rocks behind no, your tires? No, no. You have your brakes. Your brakes help with that, and uh, it's just that's part of it. And and you're kind of maybe backing up a little bit as the other. You're pulling the other car out of trouble. But most of the recovery that we did was just with a toe strap. So we'll work on that. We'll get we'll get into it because I think that's part of the scale experience. But other than that, you know, I think that would be fun. I think you, I, I I think the kids will enjoy it. I think you might enjoy it. Okay. So anyway, we'll do we'll do more video on the SCX10. Uh, I still have some more upgrades for the Poison Scooch. I'm really looking forward to seeing the actual trail run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I got I got tons of video, and uh, I think well, you know, we we have some in this video, and we're gonna do some little smaller videos uh, just to show some of the stuff that we did. And we have one another run. I'm hoping we can get in in two weeks from now at a different site. It'll just be me and the boys, and we'll try some of our new tricks, and uh, you know, show off more of the cars. But in the meantime, stay tuned. We'll keep these videos running. This is uh, for Bench Time with the Bear. I'm Mud Guy. I'm the Bear. And this is the Amazing Pig Pig. The Amazing Pig Pig. You say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.